Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna do something super cool. I'm gonna turn this half inch piece of carbide into this step drill. We're gonna do it on our Walter Helotronic Vision 400L from United Grinding. The first operation is gonna be the pilot of this step drill. We're going from half inch to three eighths. And the first thing we wanna do is clear out all the material on the tip of this drill. So if you notice, that's the steady rest coming up from the bottom. So as our 1A1 wheel comes over the top, it's supported. We're not holding on to a whole lot of the tool in our chuck, and we're utilizing a shunk hydraulic chuck, so we can choke up on it with not a ton of space because it's so rigid and it holds onto that tool so tight. With that steady rest, it's really gonna help keep that tool from deflecting too much. So that's gonna be our first operation. Now we're cutting out the flutes. Now if you notice on this drill, the flutes are very deep. That's gonna aid in chip evacuation since this drill is getting pushed through say aluminum or steel. It's gonna remove all that material in one shot. So since we're taking such a heavy cut, we're gonna come in with a finish pass. It's basically a spring pass and it's gonna eliminate any of that deflection that may have happened from that really big cut. This flute is super important because it's gonna get all those chips that this is cutting pushed out of the hole so it can cut clean. We're using a 30 degree helix and the flute depth is gonna leave a core diameter of about 93 thousandths. So right now you can see the probe is actually probing the flute so that in follow on operations, those features are aligned perfectly with the flutes. What's happening now is we're grinding out the 90 degree step. So our 1v1 wheel is clearing out the step and that's gonna provide our cutting edge for that step or when this creates that counter bore, it's gonna create that perfect 90 degree shelf for a, like a bolt or whatever needs to go into the hole. Now we're gonna do the clearance for the 3 8 OD and the clearance for the half inch OD. Now the clearance is just simply removing a little bit of the material out of the way and bringing that OD down just slightly so that it's not rubbing too much and causing a ton of heat on our part. We're not quite done with the tip yet, but we have our pilot initial grind. We have the clearance. Now we need the edge that's gonna ensure that the pilot is drilling at our nominal diameter of 3 8 Now on the half inch side, we're creating what's called cylindrical margin. Now if you look close enough, you can see the raw stock and it's continued through this flute. This cylindrical margin is gonna guide the tool through that hole to make sure we get a nice clean hole. All right, so now we're gonna to go to my favorite part is the drill tip. This has two clearances on it. We have a clearance on the tip and a clearance on the backside, a primary and a secondary. This is known as a multi-faceted tip. Now, the term faceted comes from diamonds. So if you cut a diamond, all those nice sharp surfaces, those are facets. It's the same thing on a drill. This drill only cuts in one direction. So it's incredibly important that we get these right. There's also some gashing inside of there that's a radius gash and it's gonna aid in like really getting through material really efficiently. All right, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, go ahead and talk about it down below. Like, subscribe, go ahead and comment so I can interact with you guys a little bit. And we got a lot more coming, so we'll see you next time.